All right, this Telluride has $9,000 worth of dealer add-ons. It says dealer added markup, and it's $8,995. That's a lot. All right, so this is a 2023 Kia Sorento, and after $8,000 of dealer add-ons, it's $46,000. So I'm here at a Kia dealership today uh, to talk about two things. One, I want to give you some prices on some of these brand new Kias. And two, um, I want to talk about some issues that Kia and Hyundai are going through right now and are going to be going through um, for the foreseeable future. So Kia and Hyundai are currently being sued by multiple insurance companies because some of their vehicles have become very easy to steal. So they're actually taking major losses on having to uh, pay out for these, uh, these vehicles being stolen from their customers. It's even to the point that multiple insurance companies have refused to actually write policies for these type of vehicles that are easier to steal. So the models that are actually being affected by this are anywhere from 2015 to 2021 production models of Kias and Hyundais, the ones that actually use a key to start them and not the push button start. These vehicles actually did not come equipped with the electronic immobilizers that most vehicles come with. And all that is basically is a chip that is put in the key that talks to the vehicle saying, hey, I belong to this car and I'm not being stolen. This is actually the owner of the car. It's just uh, the chip that communicates with the vehicle to, uh, to let it know, okay, we can turn on now. All right, so this is a 2023 uh, Kia Sorento EX um, front wheel drive, and they have an MSRP of $37,985. They have a bunch of uh, add-ons. Uh, it's a $79.95. So for all that, you're getting interior sealant, exterior sealant, um, nitrogen tire service. It says five-year warranty available. See finance for details. Um, window tint, door cups, um, cup guards, door edge guards, and your first oil change for free. So they're throwing that in, that's good. And free state inspections for life. Uh, all of that's for $8,000. Uh, so your total price on the Sorento is $45,980. And this issue has even become so bad that the city of Baltimore is also suing Kia and Hyundai because the amount of thefts on these vehicles is causing their police department really to be pulled away from other things that they have to deal with to have to deal with the investigation and uh just just uh the, just having to deal with all these cars that are spiking in thefts uh, because it's so easy for them to be stolen and baltimore is not going to be the only city that does this there's a lot of cities that are outraged because their police departments are just they're being pulled away from the things that they need to do and uh, you're going to see a big problem as far as these cities fighting against Hyundai and Kia because they're using resources that they shouldn't need to be used uh, because of a defect in these Kia and these Hyundais. All right, this one's a 2023 Telluride. It's the SX Prestige model, X-Line, V6 all-wheel drive. And you've got an MSRP of $56,775. Um, actually, this one has a market adjust, not market adjustment. It's got a dealer add-ons. Um, it says dealer added markup, and it's $8,995. That's a lot. So what you're getting for that is uh, interior sealant, exterior sealant, five-year warranty um, available. It says C finance for details, so I'm not sure uh, what all you get in that five-year warranty, but that's bundled into this uh, package. Nitrogen. Love nitrogen. Uh, window tint, cup guards, door edge guards, your first oil change for free, and uh, free state inspections for life. Not sure it's all worth $9,000, but your total price here is going to be $65,770 for this 2023 Telluride. And instead of actually fixing this problem, what Kia and Hyundai have, uh, have said that they would do is they're actually uh, sending out uh, free wheel locks to a lot of these police departments. So they are actually able to give them out to people who have these particular cars that are high theft risk. Um, and they're doing that instead of doing the recalls that they need to do instead of actually fixing the problem, they're uh, offering these, uh, these police departments, these wheel locks and just 
I, I really think that's just a band-aid and uh, it's not going to really help because a lot of people are not going to use these wheel locks and a lot of people I'm assuming that have these vehicles don't even know that they can go to these police departments and get these wheel locks for free all right here's a 2023 Kia Sportage EX front wheel drive um, so the MSRP on this is uh, twenty nine thousand seven hundred ninety dollars they've got dealer add-ons of about seven thousand dollars so your total price on this one is thirty six thousand seven hundred and eighty five dollars so now here's the problem for Kia and Hyundai this is actually a big image hit for both of them and the reason why is because this this story has gone viral so most people know about this issue if they watch the news if they read anything online and if they're especially researching Kias and Hyundai so if someone's coming and uh, if there's a new consumer that wants to buy a brand new car and they start doing their research they're going to see that Kia and Hyundai okay their cars are easier to steal even though on the brand new Kia and Hyundai's they actually have the um, the systems put in place where they're not actually easy to steal but now they have that image that's going to go forward with them and it's going to lose some of their customers because there's just a mindset out there that people think that Kia and Hyundai's are easy to steal now these problems only go up to 2021 and only with the actual cars that need the keys so it's not even a majority of the vehicles that are offered for sale right now by Kia and Hyundai but still, that image is going to remain and it's going to be pushed forward to customers uh, in the near future. And even if a consumer knows that there's not a higher risk now of a new vehicle from Kia or Hyundai to be stolen, what they know now is that, all right, they've had these issues before and they really haven't made really good steps to to fix the problem so what a consumer would wonder is if okay these newer vehicles that are coming out when i'm deciding to buy if i buy a kia and a hyundai and if there is an issue that that pops up down the line then it seems like kia and hyundai is going to be reluctant to try to fix that problem to do the necessary recalls to actually make these customers happy to fix the actual issue because they're not doing it in this in uh, in this way with these high theft vehicles. All right, this is a 2023 Stinger. It's the uh, GT2, and uh, MSRP is fifty three thousand five hundred thirty five dollars. They've got uh, dealer add-ons of about six thousand dollars. So the total price here is fifty nine thousand five hundred thirty bucks. So now if you have one of these high theft Hyundai or Kias, what should you do? Well, first look online to see if yours even qualifies. Remember, you gotta have a key to, uh, to start the ignition. It's not push button. But if you have one of these 2015 to 2021 uh, Kias or Hyundais, look online and see if uh, yours is one of the ones that are a higher theft risk. And you have to take steps to be able to uh, make sure your car doesn't get stolen. Park it in the garage. Uh, block it in if you don't have a garage. Um, another thing you can do is check with your city and see if any of these free wheel locks are being offered to you. So you can go check with your police department. They might have some sitting there because a lot of people, I would assume, don't know that Hyundai and Kia were actually giving these out. Is that meant to be like that? It looks like somebody messed up in the paint shop. <laughs> Right, here's a 2023 Nero EV Wave. I think that's how you say it. I've never even heard of one of these cars. N I R O. Um, so the MSRP on this one is $46,755. And then you've got dealer add ons of $6,000. Um, and your total price is $52,750. So now, if you're in the market for a car, I would probably avoid uh, these years, the ones that actually are a higher theft risk for two reasons. One, I mean, this is the obvious, your car might get stolen. Um, two, it's going to be a big weight on these insurance companies to actually insure these vehicles. So you might have two issues that arise when you go to try to get insurance. One, insurance company might not even want to insure this car because they know it's a higher theft risk. Um, two, the premiums and the amount that you're going to pay uh, for this insurance to cover these, these higher risk cars might be way more than a comparable vehicle that say like a Toyota or a Honda um, because the insurance company just knows it's gonna be a lot more risk to be able to take on uh, the insurance for this vehicle. 
So now for consumers that have already bought these vehicles, another issue that's going to come into place, even if they are able to get insurance, even if they do have insurance on these vehicles, is that if it gets stolen, if they bought these vehicles in the last couple years, they're probably way underwater on these vehicles and the prices are coming down. And two, on the insurance side, they're going to use values of what uh, the market is telling them um, is uh, what these cars are worth. Another big issue with these vehicles is because they are high risk being stolen, their actual market value on the used market is going down because less people are wanting to buy them. So that's even a, a, a bigger headwind for the prices of these vehicles. And if yours gets stolen, if you have one of these, you're not gonna get a fair compensation to be able to replace something for a similar quality of what you already had if this vehicle gets stolen and if the insurance company has to market as theft and then pay you for what the car is worth. And if you don't have gap insurance on that vehicle, on that vehicle that you paid way too much for, on that vehicle that you paid market adjustments way above the market value in the last year, two years, you're going to end up losing a ton of money if something like this happens to your vehicle. All right, there's some EV6s over there, and I've saw prices anywhere from uh, 56,000 up to uh, 66,000. And because of all these reasons, I really think Kia and Hyundai are gonna take a big hit on this story alone. They're gonna lose the confidence of their consumers. They're gonna lose the confidence of, of the customers who have already bought these vehicles because now they're not trying to do anything to really help to really fix the problem that really they created because they didn't, they didn't do their quality checks. They didn't uh, look beyond what they were just selling to see if uh, they could make their cars safe for their customers. And really, not putting the chips, the uh, these uh, electronic immobilizers in these cars, I would assume, I don't know, I'm not a car manufacturer, but I would assume it wouldn't have cost that much to put these extra safety features into these vehicles, and now they haven't done it. Now it's a big problem for them. And really, you're just seeing this across the board. It's not just Hyundai and Kia, it's Ford. You're seeing tons and tons of recalls coming across because they're just, they're just skipping out on quality. They're rushing these products out and they're not doing the checks that they need to do to make sure that they are giving their consumers a good finished product. And I think you're going to continue to see this as these cars were pushed out when they were waiting for chips um, over the pandemic. There were a lot of rush productions that happened. There were a lot of corners that were cut. And over the next few years, we're going to see tons and tons of recalls. And that's going to be very bad for these car manufacturers because it's going to cost them a lot of money. Just because they didn't check the quality, they uh, rushed the products too much um, during this time period where they were just trying to get as much money as possible because there's money in the system. They need to get their cars out. Supply chain issues were going on. And things were rushed and that happened so we're, we're already starting to see it now and we're going to continue to see it for the next few years that quality is poopy and uh, they're going to end up having to do a lot of recalls it's going to cost these manufacturers a lot of money